So this recipe is going to make us two fugas, or fugais, or I, I don't know what the plural of fugas is. I didn't. I don't know. <laughs> Today, we're going to show you how to make the most amazingly simple fugas, okay? So that's a type of bread that is basically just all crust. And crust is where all the flavour is, crust is where all the crunch is, crust is good. It's going to be flavoured with red onions, uh, rosemary and pecorino. First thing we're going to do is get our dry ingredients. So we've got 8 grams of salt, 250 grams of strong white bread flour. So we're just going to set the dry ingredients to one side there for a moment and we're going to get on with our wet ingredients. So water for baking needs to be kind of warm, OK? You don't want it too hot and you don't want cold water either. Best way to achieve that is two thirds cold water from the tap and then one third boiling water from the kettle. That will give you the right temperature that you need for any sort of bread baking, really. To the water, we're going to add 10 ml of olive oil, eight grams of fresh yeast. Once that's all in there, I'm just going to give it a little mix up. We're using fresh yeast here. If you do want to do this with dry yeast, generally just kind of 50% will do the same sort of job for you. Right, so dry ingredients, we're just going to make a little well in the centre with our finger and we're just going to pour in about half of our wet, our yeast mix here. So about half of that into the centre. I'm going to start working this with the fork. So if we try and mix the whole thing together now, it ends up taking twice as long. So you just want to mix small amounts to begin with and it will start to look like really rubbish porridge. That's good, that's what we want, rubbish porridge. So once it kind of starts to come together in the centre there, you can add the remaining bit of your water mix. Get that all in. And then just carry on mixing as before for your rubbish porridge. And once that starts to come together, you can just pull in the flour from the outside to the centre and continue to work it. So once it starts to come together like a dough, you can get rid of the fork and you can start using your hands now, okay? So same principle, you're gonna pull the dry stuff into the wet stuff. This is a really, really easy dough. It's a really good one if you've not made much bread before or you're new to rock box cooking or any sort of like wood-fired cooking. This is a really good kind of starting point. So it'll feel kind of dry, a bit drier than a lot of doughs, but don't worry about that at this point because we are gonna be adding the onion marmalade and the other bits and that's gonna really moisten it up. So once you're happy, you've got all those dry bits out, you can pop it onto your work surface. Okay, so now we're gonna knead the dough on our surface for about kind of four minutes, four or five minutes. So once you've kneaded it for about four minutes, we're gonna get our flavour in, okay? So you can use whatever you want, but for this particular one, we're going with rosemary. So we've got about half a tablespoon. We've got 15 grams of pecorino cheese. So you can use Parmesan here, if you can't get hold of pecorino. And then we've got half a tablespoon of red onion marmalade. So we're just gonna kind of fold those ingredients in, and it gets a bit messy now, it gets a bit sticky, a bit tacky. And we're just gonna work the dough again, exactly as we were before. And after a couple of minutes, you'll end up with something that hopefully looks a bit like this, okay? We're just gonna pop this into a bowl, cover it with cling film, and we're gonna leave that for an hour. Okay, so after about an hour or so, you should have a dough that is roughly doubled in size and looks something like this, okay? If you don't, leave it a bit longer. You can leave it up to about two hours, really, if you need to, but about an hour or so is bang on for fugas. We're gonna turn this out onto our work surface and we're then gonna shape it into the traditional fugas shape, which should resemble an ear of wheat. So, a little bit of flour on your bench, and you're going to very gently kind of just pull it off the sides and let it drop down here. We don't want to work this too roughly at this point. We don't want to knock any of the air out that's kind of happened during the proving process. So we'll end up with something like that, okay? Okay, so we're just going to split it in half. Again, nice quick slice so we don't knock too much air out. Just lie it out in front of you, and you're just going to use your fingertips to just kind of push it out to the edges. So you could do this with a rolling pin, but you tend to lose some of the air a bit too much. This would be the first bread cooked normally in a wood-fired oven. They would use it to kind of gauge the temperature of the oven. So if the fugas cooked okay, they, know, they knew they could load in the other breads. So you end up with a kind of triangle. It looks a bit like uh, the British Isles, actually, just a bit more squashed. So once we've got our flat fugas, we're then going to cut little strips in it, okay? So we're going to do one strip down the middle, and then we're going to do three strips either side. So you don't need to feel tied to this shape. You can kind of do whatever you want, really. You can get a bit creative with it, particularly if the kids are making it or whatever. But what this is going to do is going to give us lots and lots of crust, and crust is good. So just kind of lift it up, move it round a couple of times, and come back on your bench. And you'll see that your holes have just extended slightly and got a bit larger. So that's it. That's one fugas done. We'll just open the other one. We'll do this one a little bit differently, so we've got a couple of different styles. So we'll do one little line there, one little line at the bottom, then just maybe two at the side. Cool, so once they're opened up, they're ready to go straight into Rockbox. So what we've done is we've preheated Rockbox. It's red hot, 500 degrees. And what we're gonna do is turn the flame down to low and then we're gonna go straight in with the fugas, okay? 
When we cook these, we want to cook them at the front third of Rockbox. If we get too far back in the oven, they're just going to burn before they're cooked through nicely. So, as always, lightly flour your peel, and just gently pull your fugas on, getting a little bit more shape again. A little shake to check he's not sticking, and then straight into Rockbox. Similar to when we make a pizza, or lots of things that we cook in Rockbox, it's going to need rotating as it's going, and we're going to look for visual clues. So a bit of browning on that back crust, a little bit of lift as well. And when we see that, we can start rotating 180 and continue to do that throughout the cooking process. Okay, so all in all, we're probably going to be cooking these for about six minutes or so. This has had about a minute, two minutes, so I'm just going to go in, and you'll see the sugars in the marmalade will give us some of this beautiful charring on the crust as well. So, here we go, another turn. And you can feel the crust is starting to form so nicely. So cooking breads in kind of wood-fired ovens or anything like that, rock box included, because it's such a dry heat, you just get the most incredible crust. It's kind of, you spend years cooking, chucking pints of water into ovens or trying to create steam to give you that crust. And as soon as you've got a wood-fired oven or something that gets as hot like a rock box, it's like cheating, it's amazing. So we've put these onto a resting rack as soon as they come out. That way we get a nice airflow all over the whole crust and it will just, you know, it's all crispy rather than any of it being soggy or anything like that. So what you can see is from the sugar in the marmalade, we've got this lovely kind of browning that we've got going on here. You can smell the cheese straight away and the rosemary as well, that hits you straight away. And the colour of the cheese where that's melted into the dough is insane. So there you go then guys, red onion marmalade, rosemary and pecorino fugas. It's a thing of beauty, it's super easy and it's delicious. Make sure you make it. I'm going to go and eat some fugas. Hey, good food, guys.